Hello everyone. Happy Monday afternoon. I hope uh, you all had a lovely weekend. Welcome to the weekly uh, Snuggly Monkey Instagram Live. This week we are going to be doing a what's new. It's been a while since um, I've done one of those. Uh, so we're going to uh, take a look at some of the recent new arrivals. Hello! Um, that have come into the shop in the last couple of weeks. Talk a little bit more about them um, and give you some highlights. Hello everyone, welcome. Um, all right, so jumping right in, um, last week or two weeks ago, I guess, uh, the registration opened for our summer session of classes. I'll be doing all the Sashiko classes again, um, Sashiko 101, 102, 103. And then this summer, uh, Rebecca Rehnquist from Drupal Cloth Samplers is gonna be teaching um, two classes, two brand new ones that she hasn't taught with us before. She's going to be teaching one on her Milky Way sampler and then another one in August on her yo-yo sampler. So if you would like the chance to learn embroidery uh, in a small group with Rebecca, um, head over to snugglymonkey.com, take a look at our summer classes and uh, join her, join me. Um, the Sashiko 101 is the intro to Sashiko class. The first one is happening this Saturday. Uh, there's still a couple of spaces, but there's not time to mail the kit out. Um, so if you have your own Sashiko supplies and you would like to just join the class, you're welcome to join us on Saturday. I'll be teaching 101 again in August. And then um, 102 is Hitomezashi, which is the grid style of Sashiko. Uh, we go over how to do that, what the techniques behind it are, and then we do some visible mending. And then 103 is Kuguri Sashi. It's the stitch and weave style of Sashiko. Um, we go through how you do that, how you do the weaving, um, and then we talk about how you design your own patterns. So those are the classes that um, we're offering this summer. So head over to the classes section and take a look at those if you're interested in taking some classes with us. All classes this summer are virtual via Zoom. Um, so they are open to anyone all over the world. All right, so let's jump in. So some of the, we're gonna start with embroidery patterns and kits, um, cause there's lots of those that have that have come in. The one that I'm super excited about, um, a couple of years ago, I did this uh, monthly calendar sew along with Sarah Beth Timmons. Folks have seen these hoops. I have them displayed here in the studio and asked me about them over the years. Um, and so now all 12 months, of the calendar are available at Snuggly Monkey as PDF downloads. Um, so if you would like to stitch either the entire calendar or um, just your favorite month, you can now find all the patterns um, available as PDFs. So they get delivered to your email as soon as you complete the purchase. Uh, if you need some help putting together a kit for any of these, feel free to reach out and we're very happy to help you translate the um, all of her Color charts are in DMC floss, so we can translate those into Cosmo for you um, and help you pick out some fabric and hoop and all that good stuff. So feel free to reach out if with any of the PDF patterns, um, you would like some help putting together a kit to be able to stitch that together. So all 12 months of the Sarah Beth Timmons calendar um, can now be found in the uh, PDF section of the shop. Um, another new uh, sampler that we have is the new drop cloth garden path sampler so this is a um, there are four little patches in here so you can stitch this one up as a square sampler or um, I've seen folks cutting these up and turning them into pattern weights or pin cushions so you've got a couple different options on what you can do with your finished sampler so the garden path sampler um, is now in the shop we have a new kit from Jessica Long Embroidery. It is the Love Kit. Um, and so Jessica's kits do include the hoop. Um, she uses the Hardwood Beach um, F.A. Edmonds hoops in her kits. You have the sampler pre-printed on fabric for you um, in permanent ink. And then you've got your floss and your needle and all of your instructions are in here. So this is one, a new kit from Jessica Long. Um, and then in the world of cross stitch, we've got a new kit from Caterpillar Cross Stitch uh, called Positivity Rules. And so this is a really sweet um, little cross stitch kit. Um, in this kit, you get everything that you need except for the hoop. There's no hoop inside of this kit, but it contains the, um, the Ada cloth, the DMC thread, 
the needle, the chart is all printed out, and everything that you need except for the hoop um, is in here. So we've got a couple of the Caterpillar cross stitch kits um, in the shop now, and that one is a new one. All right, so now moving over to Sashiko, um, we got a few new Sashiko samplers recently. Um, there is, this is one of the large samplers uh, from QH Textiles. Uh, so this one ends up being almost 40 inches by 43 inches. So it's a pretty big project. The great thing about these huge panels is that um, you actually, you can cut all of these samplers down. So you actually are getting, you know, about 12 different small samplers in this huge panel. So you can either keep it as a large panel or you can cut it down and use the panels individually for different projects, turning them into a quilt, putting some sashing around them, uh, table runners, and then at the end here you have this one long panel as well as part of this of this big, big panel. So we've got a new large panel from QNH, a couple of smaller 12 by 12 Hanafukin samplers. There's Kaleidoscope, uh, which kind of goes with um, all of their other ones that are the mixed pattern, uh, the bracken fern, all of those. Um, and then there's this one that's been super popular, All You Need Is Cats, and it's really adorable little um, cats playing with yarn. So that one is in here. And then um, we got the teddy bear samplers. So in these samplers, um, what you get is the sampler, the pre-printed sampler, but in order to assemble the teddy bear, you will have to gather your own supplies. So what you receive is this panel so that you can um, sashiko stitch all the parts of the teddy bear. And then you cut out all of these. This is his little scarf here. You cut all of these panels out. And then there are um, detailed instructions in English that tell you exactly how to, these are all of your pattern pieces um, that are on that sampler, and then you've got detailed instructions in English telling you how to sew all the patterns together to create your little teddy bear. So in addition to the sampler, you will also need some polyfill stuffing, um, you'll need some basic sewing supplies, either a sewing machine or if you prefer to hand stitch it, you can do that as well. Um, so just keep that in mind that the teddy bear sampler only includes the fabric with the sashiko pattern pieces. Um, so you would stitch these, you would do the sashiko stitching on these first and then cut them out and sew it into the teddy bear. So um, this is, I'm going to be working on this one very soon. I'm super excited to, um, to make that little teddy bear. I think it looks super duper cute. Um, all right, so this weekend, um, if you are a fan of woven labels, Kylie and the Machine has been um, rebranding and repackaging all of their labels. So they have taken, so several of their labels have been out of stock for a while because of the, the rebrand, but they have arrived. They're here. So they are now being packaged um, in these little resealable EVA pouches so that you can store your labels very easily in these little pouches. Um, and then they have some of their most popular labels. They have um, actually redesigned them, kind of modernized and spruced them up a little bit. So the Made with Love and Swear Words is back in stock. Um, Perfectly Imperfect now comes in two different colors. The Rainbow Handmade now has the letters uh, in the rainbow. And You Can't Buy This now comes with two color options. So you've got the black label and then this um, kind of taupe beige color here as well. And then a couple of new ones that we have from them. Um, this multi-pack, this multi-color pack that says it has pockets. This one which says mistakes made, lessons learned. And so you have two different size labels in here. You have the larger one and then you have the little one that says mistakes made or lessons learned rather. Sorry. <laughs> Um, and then there is the Sweary Sewist number three pack. Um, I believe we might have a couple, or we might have just actually sold out of the number two earlier today, um, but the number three set is here. If you are a fan of the Sweary Sewist uh, labels, the, the ones in here are different from the ones that were in the number one and the number two. Um, so to continue adding to your collection. So we've got 
um, several new woven labels. Um, so the woven labels, all of these are sew-in labels. So if you are making a bag, you're making um, some garments, you can stitch these right into the seams. Um, you can also put labels onto your embroidery hoops. You can um, attach them to however you back your hoop. If you um, do that, um, you can stick them into the side of your um, hoop in here if you want it kind of standing out a little bit. Um, so you can really use these woven labels all over the place on all sorts of your projects. They're a great little finishing touch um, to personalize your, your projects. <clears throat> all right, the next item that we have is Hugo's Amazing Tape. So this stuff is actually really cool. I'm really enjoying playing with it. Th what this is, is it's called tape, but it's not sticky. There's no adhesive um, on this. It sticks to and clings to itself. So it's kind of like a vinyl, like a super duper thin vinyl. Um, the way that I've been using this is particularly on my Cosmo Nishikito um, spools. If you have any of this uh, metallic thread, it's fantastic. It's my favorite and pretty much the only metallic thread I use anymore. But there are no notches on the spool to um, hold the ends of your thread. So all of my spools tend to have the ends just kind of hanging out like this. Um, I do sometimes use the spool huggers, but the Nishikito spools are just a little bit too thin. So the spool huggers are, they're pretty big on here and they don't really actually hold the thread. So that's where this Hugo's amazing tape comes in. Um, and so, like I said, there's no adhesive on this. So there's no adhesive going onto my thread. I don't have to worry about any residue or anything like that. Um, and basically it just sticks to itself. So you have to cut a piece that's large enough that it will reach over itself. You wrap it around your spool it clings to itself, ta-da! And then you've got nice, neat little spools. So it keeps your thread end tucked in there. Now you can have all your spools together and they're not gonna knot up. Works really well um, on pearl cotton as well. I've got a piece um, on here. Let's see if I can find it. It comes off super easily. Um, and then that way, again, you don't have a mess of thread ends um, all over the place, depending on how you store your pearl cotton um, or your other little spools. So anyway, we've been having fun playing with um, this stuff around here and seeing what else we can use it on. Uh, so for now, what I've been using it for really is uh, tidying up all these little spools and um, balls of thread that we have. Um, I do cut it with a scissor. Um, I haven't had success just kind of tearing it with my hands, but it cuts very cleanly and easily um, with a scissor. So that is the Hugo's Amazing Tape, is what that is. All right, uh, speaking of scissors, we have a couple new scissors from NNK. Um, we have, this is their Dragonfly embroidery scissors uh, in the antique gold. So you see they've got the beautiful little dragonfly details. Uh, these, are, these are really, really nice scissors. They have a nice weight to them. Um, super sharp tip so they come with the little tip protector they are a little bit larger than what i usually use i tend to use smaller scissors um, for my embroidery work but um they are they're really nice i like scissors that have kind of a nice feel and a nice weight to them um, and so the nnk they're really sharp they have really nice um, blades and then the other new design is the butterfly handle also in the antique gold it's kind of funny. It looks like little glasses. Um, so yeah, so we've got two new um, embroidery scissors from NNK Press that just came in. And let's see, we've got a new needle minder from Bowen, uh, an enamel needle minder that came in recently. It's a little uh, embroidery hoop with a floral pattern on it. Super sweet, uh, nice strong magnet on there. And then the last thing that I have for you um, is the Merchant and Mills Select Notions Sewing Box. So this is a gift set from Merchant and Mills um, that includes nine of their best-selling notions in here. 
So in this box, you get the thimble, you get a pack of 25 needles, their dressmaker pins, uh, the beeswax, you get Taylor's chalk, and a seam ripper is in here as well. The wide bow scissors, the tape measure, and the Merchant and Mills needle threader. So all of these um, come in ooh, come in this box set. Um, and then the box itself was designed with all these little compartments so that once you are done using up or you move these uh, notions somewhere else, you can use this box as a sewing storage box. It's made of a heavy weight, very heavy weight cardboard um, so that you can uh, keep using it for years to come to store your, um, your sewing supplies and your notions. So, um, so this is now all of these um, items that I've shown you are in the shop. Um, these are all the things that have arrived recently um, as new. We have some more um, new stuff that is on the way. I haven't done an unboxing in a couple of weeks because boxes have been coming in kind of at strange times, so it hasn't lined up. Um, but I believe there's a box that just arrived from La Sienne in Japan. Um, so we will have the full Cosmo cabinet set available again. So all 501 um, solid colors will be, um, that set's been out for a little bit, but that's what should be in that box um, that I believe arrived today, along with several brand new um, embroidery kits that they recently released. Alice Makabe um, has partnered with Cosmo to create some really, really beautiful um, embroidery kits. And so those will be coming soon. Um, yeah, so there's lots of um, fun stuff. There's some new fabric um, that is here and going to be listed very soon, hoping to get some sunshine to photograph it this week. Um, yeah, so lots of fun and exciting stuff. So that is a quick what's new um, here at Snuggly Monkey. And uh, thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will talk to you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>